Binge watch and learn on TRS Clips. Do you want to explain the concept of general AI and all that? That's something I've not understood actually. Okay. It's about sentient AI, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Artificial general intelligence artificial, versus yes. simple artificial intelligence. So like I said, if you have a powerful enough AI and you and like you said, if you train it on the entire data of the world and if it is good enough, it's going to become generally intelligent. It's going to be able to talk about anything. It will be able to talk about weather. It's going to be able to talk about politics. It's going to be able to talk about dating. It's going to be able to talk about quantum mechanics, geopolitics, anything. That's artificial general intelligence. But the standard AI that we have is trained on more limited data sets. So, so it can talk about certain things, but not, to, uh, not beyond a certain level. And if you want to monetize it, you're going to either train it on nuclear weapon simulations, which means you can simulate entire nuclear explosions within your computer. And you can... And you can explain this <laughs> <laughs> so let's say you are a nation an imaginary nation that has been able to conduct only five nuclear tests but the superpowers have conducted hundreds of nuclear tests what's the significance of a nuclear test a nuclear test is when you create an actual device based on the theory that you know that it's going to work like that and you test it out so it's when you take the theory and, and, and apply it to engineering nuclear physics and nuclear explosions bombs are all, are all about engineering and engineering is a mixture of science and art, okay? And some jugad, some, some of that. So, a nuclear bomb is an extremely complex device. And if you don't do it the right way, it's not, all the nuclear fuel will not be used into it, used in the explosion, and the nuclear device will not reach its full potential. It will fizzle. Mm. It will fizzle. Instead of giving a 100 a megaton output, it will give you 2 megatons of an output. Just because of the way you have constructed the bomb. So, if you are only able to test five times and you don't have the liberty to t do 100, 100 more tests, then you're going to have to do it within, an, within a supercomputer mm. with all those parameters. Mm. So if you have an AI which can somehow access the data of all the other tests, if you can do that, they can simply feed it into the AI and it will devise an even better nuclear bomb. It'll help you with your engineering. It'll help you with the engineering and the, this art and the science and it'll, be, it'll help you design more efficient, more effective, more powerful nuclear bombs with limited, with limited uh, amounts of fuel and all that. Would you say art is basically past references cut out from certain places and put together to form something new? Yes, yes. It's, it's uh, certainly past references. It's about uh, finding patterns and you know, engineering is all about science, that sort of thing. But sometimes you do, there is a lot of spit and glue in it, you know. Mm. You have to glue certain things about uh, uh, into it. And, the, you know, you will see something which is very curious. Lots of rocket scientists, etc., before they f test a rocket or, or before a rocket launch, they will do some prayers and stuff. So there is an art, there is, there is something beyond science in engineering. Rocket scientists are not scientists, they are engineers. Mm. They are the guys who build the rocket and, and make it work. Mm. So in that, sometimes there is a bit of an bit of art in that, which all depends on the previous experiences. And sometimes the previous experience th in, involves a prayer, so there, there's going to be prayer, prayer also involved in that. Okay. Uh, how far are we from a Terminator-style scenario or Avengers Age of Ultron? So I think we're there. We're almost there. We have all seen these videos of the Boston Dynamics robots, those dancing robots, the robots that do parkour, tumbling around and landing on their feet. Uh, the robot dogs and all that. Mm. Now somebody tested out that. See, these, these robot dogs are have been uh, are being sold to the public, and I don't know what the purpose is. But somebody tested out the robot dog by putting a soft, soft ball. What, what is it called? That 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 gun with which shoots those uh, colored uh, paintball. 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 Mm. So somebody put a paintball gun on top of a robot dog and demonstrated how it would work. It's so it tells you that you can put a machine gun on a robot dog and it's going to turn into a killing machine, a very efficient and effective killing machine. So this robot dog has a very limited intelligence. It's not like ChatGPT, that sort of AI. It's got a very specific agenda and you can program the agenda into it. And all you have to do is to attach a machine gun to, on top of it and on, also program in the code for the machine gun, which would take a few hundred lines, maybe a few thousand lines of Python code or whatever code it is. And then it can become a complete, total exterminator yeah so we are almost there you know in the first iron man movie where they kidnap tony stark and they tell him build weapons for us and then he builds the iron man suit in afghanistan and stuff. yes yes there could be versions of this where an ai scientist or engineer is kidnapped by terrorist groups and made to create war dogs so uh 
AI scientists and engineers, they are typically computer programmers, computer scientists. They are not into robotics. So the marriage of robotics in AI is the nightmare situation, the nightmare scenario, where you bring robotics to the level that you have a robot with human-like articulation and superhuman capabilities because you will shoot it, but it will not die. And then you give it the AI level intelligence. That marriage could be a nightmare scenario because you could train, you could ask the robot to do anything you want. Fly around, nuke cities, kill people. And you will soon have robot soldiers on borders and you can't do anything about them. You know? So this whole fear that people have about Terminator happening is actually again down to human stupidity. <laughs> Am I right? See, look, yeah, yeah, true. It's not human stupidity, it's human malice actually. Malice. Malice. Because anything, any technology can be used for good or bad. You take a samurai sword, you can use it to defend the good people and defend against aggressors or you can go on a rampage. You use a... You use a stick, even a stick is a tool and you can use it for good or bad. Nuclear energy can be used for really great things, for electrifying the entire world, or you can use it to destroy the world. Similarly, AI mm. can be used for a lot of good, but if you, if, if the person who is using the technology has evil intentions, it will be unleashed. So TRS Clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists. Make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our homepage and reading through all the playlists.